YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and we are back here on Destiny 2 Forsaken. Time for another exotic review. In this video, we are going to review the new exotic shotgun called Lord of Wolves. Well, it's not exactly new because it was in Destiny 1. However, it is completely different and different in a much better way. So this is a solar shotgun that's in your energy slot. Now, in Destiny 1, the main perk was called Devil's Touch. Kills with this weapon rally nearby allies with plus 3 recovery and it lasts for 30 seconds. Does not have that perk. It is much better this time. Now, I don't know whether to consider this thing a medium range or short range pulse rifle, or when you get the main perk to proc, you turn it into a flamethrower basically, or is it really a shotgun? I think it's kind of a little bit of everything. Now, I used it a ton in PvE and PvP, and in my opinion, I had more fun with it in PvP. I'll talk about PvE towards the end of the video. But big thank you to Nathan Sharkey for letting me use his account. If you get an exotic, uh, hit me up on Twitter or shoot me an email. Now, watch this clip here. I wasted this guy. Now, the secondary perk is active, and boom, I get a double kill. This thing is awesome. So, what are the perks? Well, the main exotic perk is called Shrapnel Launcher. So, it's going to fire a powerful short range burst of solar damage. It's got Chambered Compensator, it's got Extended Mag, and the secondary perk is what you saw is called Release the Wolf. And this is where I say it's way better than the Destiny 1 version of Lord of Wolves. Because the release of the wolves is defeating an enemy doubles the number of projectiles per burst for a short period of time. Now in PvP, when you spawn in from death, you have 15 in your ammo. And each burst is going to use up 5 of those. So in PvP, you're good for about 3 kills. And if you're better than me, and I'm average at PvP, um, as long as you're collecting some special ammo, um, you can get a number of kills with this thing. However, I found that for the most part, if you found people doubled up and you have a lot of ammo on you, that's when you can start getting those double kills because of that main perk, which is called Release the Wolves. Because you basically turn it into a flamethrower, or if not, a submachine gun. It fires so many bullets. So each burst is going to be five out of your ammo. You get that one kill. Now right here I had 15. Now watch, when I kill this guy, it used up all 15 shots because of that Release the Wolves perk. Now there is some spread to the shots. Like I shoot this guy, I take him near down, and then right when he goes around the corner, then I kill him. So when you hip fire or when you aim down sight, I mean, there's a little bit of spread difference, but not that much. You want to try to aim down sight to maximize your range and accuracy, of course. So how do you get the Lord of Wolves? Well, the way that Nathan got it, and probably an easy way to get it, because I see a lot of people getting exotics this way, is doing the wanted spider bounties. Those are the ones that cost you, where you need to get a bunch of ghost fragments, go to the spider, get one of those bounties, and then go complete that, and you've got a pretty good chance at getting an exotic. And I say good chance, because I saw so many people on Twitter tweeting me their exotics, and when I asked them, I said, where did you get that? They said they got it from the spider bounty, so make sure you do those bounties. Now, in PvE, I enjoyed it, but I think I liked it a lot more in PvP, like I said before. One of the things that I found in using it during public events, I took it into a strike or two, is that I kept running out of ammo. And no, I was not using it the entire time just to get clips. Um, I think you need to run armor that's going to give you more special ammo. That's one of the new perks that can roll on armor pieces is special ammo finder. So I think this would be great if I had some more ammo. And yeah, it looks like I have a lot of ammo and it's great for killing ads, but I don't really see this as being a DPS boss type thing. I think this is just fun to run around, shoot regular ads, not use it particularly for yellow bars or big, well, regular yellow bars, yes, but not big bosses. Unless it's solar burn and you kill a regular ad and then you get the release the wolves to proc and then you lay into the boss because it does proc for a short period of time and you can do some serious damage with it. But for the most part, uh, I liked it better in PvP. So let's read the new lore. So it says, by this right alone do I rule. Why do they call themselves wolves? The hunter asks. You guys don't have any wolves on your home world, do you? Nama, the captain replies. He has perched on a rusted out skiff. He scans the horizon, trying to remember the way to the crypt. So why then? Most people haven't even seen one. Yeah, the warlock chimes in. I'd never heard of wolves until I went to the Iron Temple. The captain cocks his head in a way that makes him look very like a squat hulking owl. Why Elixni except name fallen? Why wolves except name wolves? Why Misrax is now? He grimaces as he mimes their accents, showing his serrated teeth. Mifrax? 
he rises in one fluid motion and stands at his full height. Why speak Guardian Way instead of Elixni? Docked things do not word themselves. He hops down, brushing past the hunter and the warlock with the rippling strength of a hunting tiger. And then he says, House of Wolves, they have been Miraskulasen? Ugh, I can't pronounce this. You know I butcher everything. He says, gentle weavers, come, I know the way now. So overall conclusion, I think it's a really fun gun. I love it. It does feel exotic. It's not like the beginning of Destiny 2 where weapons didn't feel exotic and they had to become exotic over time. No, this thing right out the box, as soon as you get it, you peel off the plastic, you get that new gun smell. That's a dumb joke because I'm at the end of the video, which means Babble Mode is engaged. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please leave me a like on this video if you found it enjoyable or helpful. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end to become legend and do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream usually and always on YouTube and that is it. I am out of here like Vladimir.